All right, what's up, YouTube? I figured I'd do a video real quick on how to uh, download contact and load in contact banks and clear up any confusion with uh, anything around that. So let's just get right into it. So any of the stuff you're going to need, I'm going to link in the description. Um, and also my contact bank is also going to be linked in the description. It's behind a recognized wall. Uh, just like and comment on the post or just skip past if you know how to. I don't give a fuck really. It's free. And you can use that. And if you want to see previews for the contact bank, it's on my pin and in Instagram, depending when you see this. So the contact you want to get is on Bob Duel's website. It has no viruses or whatever. Um, I'll show you now. You can kind of follow through like step by step. If you just go to Google contact Bob Duel, it should be the Wix website. I'll try to link it in the description. Last time I did this, uh, I got taken down. Go to the Bob Duel website. Click welcome. I use contact seven, contact eight people have had issues with. I don't know about contact six for, so personally this is for contact seven. Click this full options media fire download and then download this and then I'll be back once this is downloaded. All right, now this is downloaded. You can see I've already downloaded this before so I'm not bullshitting you. I'm gonna walk you through on how to do it. I'm not gonna reinstall it just because I don't wanna do that because I have a bunch of contact banks, but I'm gonna show you everything besides me personally installing it. So just do what I do. Before you do anything else here, the first thing you need to do is disable your firewall. I know it sounds crazy and you're like, oh, you just said that there's no viruses. There's no fucking viruses. You just saw my PC delete the patcher right there. That's why we have to turn off the firewall. Windows does not support piracy of software so it will delete any key gens or patchers or whatever that's why your key gens are always flagged by your antivirus i'm going to re-download it actually it should be in the winrar file okay it's still in the winrar file so if it does that for you too just go back to your winrar file and then take the patch out of there and drop it back in here i'm not going to do that until i deactivate my antivirus so I'm gonna show you what you need to deactivate to get it to stay. So you're gonna to go to your settings. You're gonna look up Windows Defender. You're gonna to go to Virus and Threat Protection. You're gonna to go to Manage Settings. Turn Real-Time Protection Ooh. off. It'll, it'll prompt you, do you really want to do this? Just say yes. All right. Once you do that, it should be on your desktop now. It should be able to stay here. So what you want to do is you want to run the setup. Just next through it. Don't change the location or anything unless you have specific file locations for things. But for sake of sanity, just don't change anything. Set it up. Once it's done, don't, do any, don't open contact, don't open FL. Then you want to open the patcher. Click yes. If you get the Windows notification where it's like a red screen, and it's like don't run, click more options and then run anyway or something similar to that. You can run it. It's fine. It's just a piracy software. So now if you open up your patcher, all you have to do is click patch. It will do it immediately. It'll say done. And then you can just exit. And that's it. Now you turn your real time protection back on. You don't have to turn off everything else, just real-time protection. Turn it back on. You can delete this if you want. You don't need it anymore. Now we're gonna go back into FL. You're gonna click add, and then you're gonna click refresh plugin list fast scan. Click okay. I didn't, it didn't pop up for me because I didn't reinstall it, but it'll pop up for you, contact seven. So then you can just go to more plugins, scroll down. It'll be orange or yellow or whatever color it is for you. It'll be highlighted. It'll say contact seven. It'll be a VST3. Open contact, and then you'll have contact. Yours will not look like this by default. Yours will not look like this. It'll be like, it'll, it'll, when you open it, it'll look like this. All you have to do is click library, and then, it, and then it'll be like over files like this. Just click libraries right here. And then to save it on this view, click view, and then save settings, uh, save view settings as default. Now, once you're done with that, we're gonna get into the steps of installing the contact library. I will um, remove mine just to show you how to do it. Okay, so now mine is removed and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So 
go to my description and then you're going to download the add library plugin for contact essentially what it is is it's the library tool you can run that through contact or you can run it outside of contact so for example so you can go to the description and then you'll get the download for the ad library just go ahead and download it you can save it to your desktop personally i don't remember where mine is saved at but you can just save it to your desktop keep contact open and then you want to now you open ad library click yes and this is what you want to see you want to see the browse folder so then wherever you put your contact banks at i recommend making a file for them i have an external hard drive for all my contact banks you can do it in your documents just keep them organized you can open where it's at I go to my contact i then i click the contact bank i want and then i click okay it will say one library successfully registered as long as they have the nicnt file or the nki file or whatever it is all you do is click okay X out of that, close out of contact, delete it, replace it with contact. And then it might pop up where it's not in here right away. Like you don't see it in here. All you have to do is just go to manage libraries and then you should be able to see it'll, it'll have like a little box next to it. You just click the little check box and then click close. It, it, it should automatically pop up for you, but if it doesn't, you guys can leave a comment or DM me on Instagram if you have any questions. Um, I appreciate you guys watching and all the links you'll need below are in the description and the contact bank that I dropped will also be in the description. Um, I appreciate everyone watching. Thank you.